Okay, so I want to quickly show you something that's very kind of software specific to ARC, but if you're going to be working with ARC at all, this is something that you should probably know. So I've just saved this, and I'm going to close my um, map, and I've been working in this folder called Turkey, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, let's say I'm going to, I want to, sorry, I forgot. I'm going to copy this map, right, control C, and then I'm going to go out here and I, let's say I'm going to paste this in a new folder. Because let's say that I just want to copy this map and move it to a different location and, and paste it there. You know, let's say I've worked on it in one place and I want to save this um, someplace because I may want to go back and work on it. So now if I open up this map that I've stored in this new folder, it should think for a little bit, but it should open up. And I bet you that it's going to open up and everything's going to look OK. And you might seem like, OK, it's pretty easy to move maps around. Well, what happens if I go back and if I change this from Turkey to uh, um, please? And now go over to here and try to open up this map. It's going to think for a little bit. And now it's got all these red exclamation points. So what just happened? All I did was change the name of the folder th that was separate from this map, and it somehow affected this map. So there's all these red exclamation points. And if you go to the properties of any one of these, you'll see that the source is, is basically this map has got these pointers, right? These layers here are basically, or these things in the table of contents are more or less pointers that are pointing back to this location where this file, the O2 centroid azimuth or equal distant, li lives, right? And so what happened is that it can't find this file anymore because I wound up changing the address of the file and it can't, there's no thing called Turkey anymore, and it didn't update and know that Turkey is now Turkey, please. Does that make sense? And so you can kind of fix this, right, by right clicking on this saying data, repair data source, and then go, ooh, find it, Turkey, please, and O2 there, let's say add, and now it, it, not only fix this one, but everything else that's in there automatically fixed it. So that's fine. Um, but what if I went and, uh, you know, turned it back to Turkey? Um, it's not going to let me because I'm looking at it and Arc's not going to let go. So if I close it and now try to change this back to just Turkey. and then went to here and opened up this map. Then what's gonna happen, I think, is it's gonna again have a bunch of red exclamation points. So, right, so whenever, what happens with ARC is that whenever you, there's two things to kind of notice here. And one is that when we moved ARC map, this thing that we're moving around doesn't actually contain any data. It just, it just contains the kind of the styles um, that the way that we're kind of displaying the data, but the data is stored someplace else. And I believe that we've, I've talked about that before. Um, so the other thing to notice is that the way that this map is pointing to that is based on this long directory address and if the a part of that address changes it can't find that file so there's two things to kind of take home from this and one is uh no nah, no need to change i'm going to go ahead and delete this guy from from near and say yes and the first thing to notice is that well the lesson here is that if you want to kind of move a map around it's a good practice to have the map and all of the f um, layers or shape files that the map is referring to or the geodatabase, if we've been using a geodatabase, all in the same folder with the map so that if you want to move the map, you don't just move the map, but you move the entire folder that the map is a part. And if you copy that and now paste it into here, 
and say paste, it's going to now be okay about, let's see, about reading those files, or is it? So now if I look in at the properties of this map, the properties are actually still looking back at this C turkey business, right? So even though I moved the map and all of the files to this new folder called here, was that right? Does, I think what it was looking at was not just the GG120 here turkey, but I think it was looking at the original, right? If we look at, so we were looking at this one before, and if I go to the properties of it, it's not looking at the turkey here, right? Or the here turkey. <laughs> it's just looking at the original one. And so what that means is that if I go back into here and change this from turkey to turkey please, what do you think is going to happen now when I open up this map? You got to write exclamation points. And so that's kind of silly, right? Because it's sitting right next. And it's like, come on, Ark. It's like you're sitting right next to all the, all the data. Why can't you, uh, can't you see it? And so the way to help Ark see data, I think, is, well, let's, let's kind of go and scrap this and delete that turkey that's inside the here. And let's go back to Turkey, please. And let's open up this North Korea map. And it's going to load it up. And it can't find anything now, right? Because I changed the name of the directory. And it's being really dumb. So I'll have to repair the data source and be like, look, it's not Turkey, please. While you were sleeping, I went ahead and changed it. Oh, I did change it, Turkey, please. But there it is. All right, so figure it out. He got it all figured out. Good, I'm glad that's working for you. And now go over to File and go to Map Document Properties and tell it to please save the relative path names to the data sources because the default is to save the absolute. And the way that I think about this now is that what ArcMap is going to do is it's no longer going to be looking for these files that are related to the map by reading left to right, by basically reading like C, G, H, 120, Turkey, please, etc. It's going to read basically from right to left. So I think what's going to happen is it should store, it, it should be more stable and it should basically be looking for this file, um, the nearest version of this file. So it'll be looking for this file, I think, in its own folder. Right, so let's see if that's true. I've saved this. I've stored the map document properties to store the relative paths. And now if I close this and I go over here and I take Turkey Please and I copy it and I paste it into here and I paste it. And so now I've got this map, right, that if I open it up, it should open up fine, no problem, but you'd expect it to because it's because I haven't changed the name of the folder Turkey Please where these guys are, you know, potentially living. It's lost world countries, but that's interesting because that's, that's streaming online, but that's another problem. So anyway, if I go back here and say, make this from not Turkey Please, but to Turkey. So I've changed the name of this um folder and so if i go into here and open up turkey please and open up the north korea map is it going to still be able to find the files yes right and so it can still find the files even though i renamed it because i believe it's just finding the files that are closest to it that are in the folder and so then the question is even though i changed turkey to Turkey please if I now open this up or from Turkey please to Turkey this should also now read the files right okay so the the lesson here is that there's two things really I don't know why it's the default to 
to have the map document properties not store the relative path names. Um, but I'm going to, I think it's good habit to have that checked. If, especially if you're going to start moving the maps around, right? And then the second thing that's worth keeping in mind is that when you do want to copy a map, try to make sure all of your data is in the folder with it and then copy then and paste that entire folder. And so now when you do that, even if you, for whatever reason, you know, change, you know, if you move this to a different directory and it can't see back and see where this data is sitting, or if you change the name of the folders, you still should be able to open the map and see the data there. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but it's part of the kind of fun architecture of ARC.